Hello, human and animals. This is Sloth One. Today we are back for another episode of Honest Reviews. Yes, you guys wanted this, so we are back. So, yes, uh, before we start this episode, yes, I finally have turned on the no buttons, full mode, and F1 button. So, yes, now we can look at our dinosaurs more in their pixelated glory. So, yes, because quality is above everything. So, yeah, I'll just probably link these two uh, add-ons down in the description. Okay, what's this? Uh, Triceratops, yes, so this is Triceratops, uh, alright, uh, I, I've accidentally spawned this guy, and, Jesus fucking Christ, what the hell is wrong with this model, like, you can see the seam lines, like, you can see the seam lines here, you can see the seam lines here, here, did this guy not, seriously not texture this part of the model? And again, uh, texture glitches around here as well, uh, why is this part shaded while this part is just plain? What's wrong with this model? Why is this so flat? Like, it, it doesn't have any depth to this model. Like, what? Okay. Now, well, this is that. This is one shitty model. All right. Ne on to the next one. All right. That's not the. This is the, the Triceratops wasn't the one which we were supposed to start. All right. Let's start off with Utah Raptor. All right. Alright, now that's what we're talking about. So, you tarp. Oh, wow, look at it. It's got some decent animations. Alright, and yes, okay. His body is a little bit stiff while he's doing it. It's just biting at it, uh, at nothing, but. Alright, um, his textures are okay, I suppose, but. Again, why is this model so flat? Like, if. Like, look at this. Look at it. Look at. Just look, 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 look. Just look at it from the front. Like, seriously, like, it, it has no depth. It, it's literally a brick in, in, in front. Well, like, how the fuck are you using Blockbench to model these things? Like, are you literally just Googling up an image and just tracing it with Blockbench? Because uh, it only happens when you do something, like, stupid as, like, as that, you know? What? How the hell would you do something like that? Just just use Blockbench and just make your models. Alright, on to the next one. Deinotherium. But, but honestly, this guy is well textured. Must admit, like, this has to be, I think, the most best textured Utah Raptor. Could be wrong. I'm, I'm pretty sure because Utah Raptor might be better because that guy, eh, well, that guy also has a little, little, bit, little bit of two flat syndrome, but all right. Dino Ethereum, again. Okay, I, I'm pretty sure that there's a two models. Like, there's the guy that textured this, and there's these guys that textured this. Okay, so there's the, this guy who makes, uh, who textured dinosaurs as good like that. And then there's also this dude who, I don't, I don't know what the hell he's doing with the textures. Like, like the texture. <laughs> what the hell just happened? Did, did, did that Dino Ethereum just TP? What? Okay. Uh, that's very weird. Something weird's happening. Okay. Why does this Dino Ethereum not have a tail, by the way? Uh, is this a bug or something? Uh. So, yes, you can see more and more texture glitches, uh, some... Yeah, okay, another part that is kind of weird is, why is this part light but this part dark? Like, if, if this is supposed to be some sort of shading, and if all the l dark parts are, are over here, shouldn't the dark part be over here and the light part over here? Did this guy, like, uh, you know, switch the left leg and the right leg? Is, is that what happened? Well, anyways, uh, what I need to say about this Dino Ethereum is I 100% just choose the Cenozoic Craft one. Uh, this one doesn't look that good. All right. Stegosaurus Sulcatus. All right. So, yeah, look at this. Okay, it has some idle animations. Again, uh, the dinosaur model is flat as fuck. I don't know why the hell... And this this guy keeps happening. I'm okay. Is this guy the same creator as the one that who made like Jurassic Project? You know the other dinosaur flat as fuck add-on. Like seriously, like if that's the guy, I like doesn't anybody tell him that his models are flat like this? Like like oh, isn't he trying to improve himself? Like seriously, like I'm pretty sure I t said that in my review as well that the dinosaurs look like paper machetes. But all right. Right. Oh yeah, we we we, we 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 saw his shitty triceratops. Onto the next one, Cosmoceratops. All right. So yeah, this guy again. Uh, it's the same with the uh, the Ethereum. Like, if this is shading, shouldn't the red part be over at the front and the white part over at the back? I don't get it again. But hey, at least uh, the Cosmoceratops color scheme looks nice. 
uh, I think we have another prehistoric creatures mod uh, add-on. I think uh, uh, that that I usually use, and that uh, that has the Cosmoceratops being, you know, like a cosmos. It was like super dark and white spots. I I I like that design, but I also like this design. Yeah, it's a, it's a neat design. I mean, it's a unique species. So I mean, it's a semi-unique because there's a, like one other guy. So oh, it has sitting animations. Sweet. All right, Ceratosaurus. Holy shit, this, dude, dude, look at it, dude, it's, it's literally a walking snake if you look at it front, that's how flat this model is, dude, oh wow, this model is shit, I, I'm sorry to say this, but this, this is shit, come on, come on, there's absolutely no depth to this model, it, it has no thickness at all, like, look, it's, it's, like, it's made out of paper, like, seriously, look at it. It's made out of paper. It doesn't... Like, its legs are super thin. Come on. Like, it's it's decently textured, but come on. It just looks so horrendous. Like, look at the model. It's so thin. Come on. Like, instead of tracing things with block bench, can't you just... Use block bench, you know, make blocks as, you know, a square for body, square for head. Can't you do it? Like, uh, normally, like, every other person would. Like, why the hell are you doing that? It looks super weird. Scootosaurus. Again, a creature that is renowned to be fat as frick. Why is it thin? Is this guy, is this thing on a diet? What? Alright, so, again, Scootosaurus. Uh, it's, it's green, I guess. And it, it has, I think, uh, it has, again, weird shading problem where this part is, like, really well shaded. But the, the shading just stops right right in the midway of the body, and it just leaves this ugly seam line as well. And of course, don't get me started on the on the leg parts. Like, I think he's using some sort of airbrush to uh, texture these things, and it just looks so shitty. Come on, like if you're gonna use airbrush on a model, like I don't know how texturing on black bench a block bench actually works. Uh, just get the entire model and use uh, uh and use you know. Use the airbrush thing to airbrush this guy because if you just airbrush like parts separately, because it's an airbrush, it's not like a normal pen where you just click on a pixel to color it. It like these things that like these ugly like seam lines are gonna happen. It, it looks so dirty, like it, it isn't it isn't refined. Like oh, and Scootosaurus apparently only comes in green color scheme. Okay, I'd appar I I thought it would come in brown as well. I I guess. Okay, I mean, isn't Scootosaurus Scootosaurus because it has scoots? But apparently, this Scootosaurus doesn't have scoots. It's like a Ceratosaurus without a horn. All right, on to the next one, Apteranus. So again, it's a new sauropod. Yeah, I'm good job. Again, super flat. Seriously, you need to improve yourself. Uh, but hey, like it's he's making new species, which is. So awesome, because I literally talked about last episode on uh, Honest Reviews, about a creator who was actually skilled, but only made some shitty uh, JP3 fucking models, but this time we have a guy that who actually is decent, but his modeling skills are shit. Come on! <laughs> Can't these guys just swap places? Like, why do all the best modelers have to have to be so uncreative, while the people that are somewhat mid to low level skilled have all these super cool ideas? Like, can't just th things just go in balance? <laughs> All right, so uh, this is Abderain, uh, Abder, let's see, Abderainurus. All right, I'll, I have no idea what the sauropod is. I'll probably look it up into Wikipedia and show them what this is right over here. So yes, because you know, learning about dinosaurs is just as important when you're having fun with them. So again, uh, something that I really noticed with this guy: why does he have these weird Minecrafty legs, while the front legs are just squares? It it looks so weird, like. Shouldn't the back legs be squares as well? If you can have have the front legs be you know like squares, like why did why are the back legs like that? Uh, is that normal for a sauropod? I don't know. All right. All right. Here we go. New new creature, Dreadnoughtus. So the Dreadnoughtus was. Oh wait a minute. Oh, are you that guy who made- Oh, I was wondering why the add-ons shared the same name. Oh, so- 
It's the same creator, yeah. I remember because uh, there was another Dreadnoughtus uh, add-on that had this Dreadnoughtus with this. Oh, you're the same creator. It's an updated version. Oh, you know, that, that last update with the Ceratopsians expansion and that, and that guy just removed Oxalea and stuff. Oh, is, is that the same add-on as this one? Oh, that explains quite a lot of things. Uh... Alright, I had no idea. People were saying it was a new add-on instead of an updated add-on, and I was like, oh, of course it's a new add-on. Oh, but apparently, no, it's 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 an updated add-on. Okay. Right, did the model have any undergo through any changes? I am not sure. I think it got a piece of better walking animations and stuff. I don't think that much has changed on the model itself. So, alright, Don Cleosteus, prepare for super thin fish. Oh, it, it lies, it lays on its side. I guess they ripped off Kim Kim from that, uh, which is which is a good thing. If something's good, I adore people for ripping it off. So, right, hey, Don Cleosius doesn't look half as. Never mind, I looked at his front. Jesus Christ, look at his front. Look, just come on. The model just speaks for itself. Come on, come on. You can do better than this. Come on, like seriously, one line. You can obviously see it was traced from block bench. Come on, you can do better. All right, Dimetrodon. Dimetrodont, Dimetrodome, alright. Uh, because Dimetrodon is, is sort of the exception here, because Dimetrodon is actually a, a thinness frick creature, so even if you make it like this, it's sort of excusable, because the Dimetrodon is, that's how sort of it looked, so. Yeah, but I also find it quite interesting. Someone needs to make it so that uh, Dimetrodon actually has these, you know, back dorsal, you know, spikes coming out of his frill. Because, you know, that's actually how Dimetrodon looked, actually. I think Dimetro Dim Dimetrodon latest looked like that. No one has actually made that before, which is kind of interesting. Because that's actually how the Dimetrodon looks. I think that's how the coolest Dimetrodon looked, so... And why doesn't this guy have any leg animation? Why is just Why is this guy just dragging along the floor? Dude... Just because his legs are small doesn't mean you 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 don't give him any leg animations. Come on, like having this guy just slide across the floor, dude. What the fuck? All right, on to the next one, Microceratus. All right. Oh wait, that's the dinosaur from the Tiny Dinosaurs expansion. Oh, you are the same creator as that as well. Oh, so you just fuse these two add-ons? I see. I see. I see. Well, it's okay because that previous Microceratus had some weird texture bugs, so. Yeah, apparently this guy, uh, I hope this guy doesn't have share the same fate. Uh, this guy seems to do okay, so... Then I'm, I'm assuming that means Alvarosaurus and Compsignatus are the hip here as well? Alvarosaurus? Oh, oh, so... Oh, wow! Oh, wow, yes, this guy got a huge overhaul. Wow, this guy looks so much better. Oh, wow, look at his color scheme! Oh, wow! Like, bluish on his horns? Like, that's really cool! Hey, that's a really neat color scheme. I, I like his texturing. Like, it textured dinosaurs like this, not like this. Like, this is, like, super detailed and really well done. I, like, the same with the Utah Raptor. This is really well done. And, but this looks like shit. Come on, like, get all the dinosaurs in this style. If you just move all your dinosaurs in this texture style, I wouldn't have to complain. Like, sure, these dinosaurs look weird as frick with these thin models. At least they look pleasant if you're staring at them at, at this angle. At least. Not like this. The Triceratops is the worst ex uh, uh, ex ex explanation? No, no, no. Ex uh, example of this, yes. <laughs> Losing my words there. So, yes. Uh, looks really weird. Okay. Uh, next up, we have Baryonyx. Again, super thin creature. The, like, this super thin creatures and this really... Like, this costume reminds me of the uh, prehistoric expansion of... Uh, Prehistoric add-on, like it had a really super flat diameter on that exploded as well. But hey, I'm actually glad that these dinosaurs don't explode. Usually, the add-ons with really cr cheaply crappy made dinosaurs have all that dinosaurs explode. But hey, the devs actually focused on what I said, and this time didn't make, did not make the dinosaurs explode. Whether it was because of me or because of others or because he actually thought he actually managed to use his brain was actually debatable. Because I actually have no idea if he actually watched my videos. So, if you do watch my videos, remember, remember, I, I'm not really hating on this add-on. I'm, I'm just literally saying the facts here, so. Right, Spectrovenator. Wait a minute, Spectrovenator? Have I not heard his name before? Wait, wait a minute, isn't Spectrovenator that thing from the Brazilian prehistory add-on? Yeah, wasn't that Spectrovenator? Seriously, you literally ripped off that guy's color scheme? Uh, 
No. Uh, oh no. Maybe maybe that's not Spectrobinator. Maybe that's just a different dinosaur. I and mean, I'm just getting them confused because they're using a sim such a similar color palette. But why use a similar color palette if you're the if they're the same species? Like, wouldn't it make more sense for you to make a unique color scheme? Like. There's so many things that I sometimes don't un understand about add-on creators. Why are you ripping off color scheme from a different add-on? Like, if some add-on has their Spinosaurus, I, I, I no, no, not the Jurassic Park color scheme. Let's say, may they make the Spinosaurus and then like dark green, like Cam Cam, and then why would another add-on creator bother to look at that Cam Cam Spino and say, "Oh, that's a neat color scheme. I'm gonna make mine as well, dark greenish stuff." Like, why would you do that? Like. You should try and make your add-ons different from each other instead of trying to make them all the same. All right, Magnapolia, yes. Oh shit, this guy looks so awful, dude. Uh, I'm I don't I I'm super excited for Magnapolia because it's a, such a it's such a nice I and mean, such a memeable creature as well. Big Paul. So yeah, Big Paul is yes again with this airbrush. Like he has absolutely no textures on his tail. Like dude, like why? Why does this guy have no textures at all? Like, it has no textures on his tail, dude. And again, with shitty airbrushing techniques. Come on, get rid of this airbrushing thing. Like, it looks terrible. Alright. Argentinosaurus. Yes, finally. Okay, uh... Something feels me, despite the Argentinosaurus being one of the biggest creatures to ever walk the Earth, something tells me that mm, there are so many creatures in, in my in my Minecraft worlds that are much bigger than this guy. <laughs> it just feels like it, because it has no volume to it. Like, if, if it's, if it's like, the biggest creature to ever walk on Earth, you'd expect it to have some gait, but no, it's 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 basically walking paper machine. Yeah, that's, uh, that's how thin my Argentinosaurus were. Of course not! Alright, next bunch, we have Dinosuchus. Like, something feels me again. Why does every creator say, add in Dino Crocs? Why do people always add in Sarcosuchus or Dinosuchus? Can't they just add in something different? Add in fucking Caprosuchus. Add in, no, not Arapiri, uh, Kem Kem has that guy. Uh, add in Lagosuchus, add in Nundasuchus. Uh, like, add in something else. Why do everyone has to be using these guys? And, oh wow. I'm very sorry, but I don't know. This guy doesn't look like a Danosuchus at all to me. It, it doesn't look like a croc because, you know, the reason of this is because because of his way of uh, awfully modeling. Because he, I'm pretty sure he just uploads a random image of a creature to Google, a sideways picture. And then, then he uses squares to fill in the, this, like, as if he was doing some kind of college. But no, that's actually not uh, how modelings are supposed to be done. Because modelings are usually, usually made by, you know, like... Like a 3D, you know, you put in a 3D square, you add in the legs, like, three-dimensional. But while this, because this guy mainly works only in 2D, which, by the way, make, results in these awful looking models from the front. And because like, crocodilians are such flat creatures, his uh, asa, which is always made for super thin creatures, look awful on this thing. <laughs> this really just shows that you just, just work on your modeling skills, like... Come on, you were making so many add-ons. I think you were making Jurassic Project. You were making uh, mini dinosaurs. You had the previous thing from the prehistoric creatures thing. You, you had so many people telling you that the dinosaurs look flat as fuck and you need to improve on your modeling skills. But again, you're making a new uh, you new, uh, new updated add-on. But still, you haven't changed a single bit. Alright, T-Rex. Well, what can I expect? Jesus Christ, these hind legs look god-awful. Like... Wow, his hind legs are absolutely tiny, dude. What the hell? All right, uh, it, because it's T-Rex, um, I can just throw that thing in the trash because I got so many other T-Rexes, so... Please, please don't have holes. Don't have holes. Don't have holes. Wow! It doesn't have holes! Yes! Yes! It, it's a Dinoceratops which doesn't have hole frills. Yes, it took... Finally took that long. Finally, a Cynoceratops who isn't a shitty JP, a Jurassic World knockoff. Finally, a Cynoceratops who doesn't have his hole fixed. Good uh, applause. We need an applause here. Come on. Good job. Good job. Super well done. Finally, something who doesn't have put these awful hole, holes on the Cynoceratops. Yes. And not only this, the Cynoceratops, it isn't even green. Super well done. No shitty Jurassic World ripoff color schemes. Well done. Well done. Alright, Therizinosaurus. 
it doesn't it isn't really feathered i mean it does have these weird neck neck things like uh I think they're using uh, this guy and the Y Dino Therizinosaurus use the base base model, a very similar base model. That's why it has both of these have really thin bodies and neck neck spikes. I mean, not neck spiky, you know, feathery things, and this a very similar color scheme as well. So, Dinocarus, wow, it looks so good. The model is good, but the texture is god awful. <laughs> What a shame, what a shame. If you just textured it like the Aviceratops, I'd be rolling on the floor right now. Alright. Kuru... Kurubatractus. Okay, what's that? What? What? Why am I spawning the frog here? But why does the frog spawn over there? Okay, I'm confused. Okay, anyways, it's a very small frog from the Mesozoic, I guess. Alright, next one, we have a Patasaurus. Let's see. Alright. Okay, is it just me, or does, the, does this Argentine, uh, does the Apatosaurus actually are, is bigger than the... Uh, why does the Apatosaurus feel bigger than the Argentinosaurus? Like, one would say this is the Argentinosaurus, and you would believe that. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, yeah, I, I threw away the egg. Alright, I can't really show it, but... Wait a minute, I can do a comparison, though. I do have an Argentinosaurus here somewhere. Uh... Where is the Argentinosaurus? Yes, there it is. And it's attack, it's being attacked. Okay, there we go. Here's Argentinosaurus. Oh, wait. Wrong dino, wrong dino. This is Apatosaurus. Is it just me or does the, does the Apatosaurus look bigger than the uh, Argentinosaurus? Is it just me? Like, sure, this guy's a tad bit taller, but, like, but the volume of this thing. Look how thick it is compared to the Argentinosaurus. Like, it, it, you can sort of feel its weight despite it being a somewhat a flat as fuck creature. Like, uh, you can feel the volume, and, and like, you should have made this the Argentinosaurus. Yeah, uh, yeah, this guy looks way better than the Argentinosaurus. Also, uh, it, like, this, again, this is one of the really well textured examples. Like, like, why, w why do you swap your, uh, air, uh, to, uh, to your weird shitty airbrushing techniques when you can texture models like this? Like, this is so much well better done than the usual models. Spinosaurus, yes. Wow, okay, that's... That's thin! <laughs> what what the fuck are you, a potato chip? Alright, we got a Spinosaurus, yes. I, 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 I'm not... Don't know really what to talk about it, but... Seriously, you had to do... Texture this Spinosaurus really well. Like, couldn't you texture something else really well? Like, why... why like... You, come on, you should have just textured, uh, you, you should have went full on lazy mode on the on the Spinosaurus like you did on the Deinocarus. And actually textured the Deinocarus as you uh, as you textured the Spinosaurus. Come on, the add-on needs a better Deinonic, uh, I'm not Deinonicus, a Deinocarus than a good Spinosaurus. An Albertosaurus, alright, another. Is it just me or is this, this guy just, did, did this guy just rip off the fucking engine universe, uh, not engine universe, the uh, engine secret files add-on? Texture because I am very sure I've seen this guy's color scheme. And wow, see, this is the part problem. What happens if you just a uh, uh, texture? Uh, you know, if you just fill in blanks from from a two D picture. Like, look how thin these legs are, and look how thin the model is. Jesus Christ, this is awful. Like the thing is, like, like not not because not only this because this dinosaur has the exact same color scheme as the engine lost files one. Like. Anyone use the, would use the Engine Lost Files one instead of this guy. Like, not only are they do they have the same color scheme, the Engine uh, Engine uh, Secret Files one can actually sit, can be fed. It it has much better animations than, and it it it, it isn't flat as fuck. Like, there's no reason to use this guy because that something as minor as a color difference doesn't exist doesn't exist for these two. So, yeah. That's that's one of my biggest problems when I see people using like ripping off color schemes. Unless it's a co uh, it's the same dinosaur with a color scheme that is you much better than the original. Which spoiler alert, it usually isn't. Um, there's really no reason. So right, last five dinosaurs. Okay, Pachyrhinosaurus. Uh, right, wasn't Pachyrhinosaurus with an H? You know, like the rhino, like the mammal. Uh, I could be dreaming myself, I don't know. Pachyrhinosaurus, oh, okay, there we go, very small, but, right, the way, however, okay, I think, yeah, this guy got a, a quite big uh, redesign as well. 
I'm, I'm pretty sure the, the, the add-on actually used to have a Lacustai and a Canadensis. I don't think you actually... Yeah, I, should, I think I, th this guy should remove one, so you only have the regular Pycharinosaurus, which is a shame. I honestly like these two versions, but, well, I can just I can just use both, you know, both add-ons. Since uh, I think they actually have different manifest codes, so you can, you can use them both together, so... Right, again, the walking animations are a bit bad. Uh, the... The bot is not textured at all on this on these guys. Right, the Pseudoceratops. The previous one had this really awful uh, a Jurassic. Oh wow, wow, woo! Nice color scheme. Uh, I was gonna say that the previous one had these awful Jurassic World or knockoff color schemes, but wow, look at his color schemes. Yes, yes, change it. Yes, good job. Like change it from the Jurassic World color scheme into this. More add-on creators uh, should uh, look up to you. Come on. Look, 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 you just, you just don't use Jurassic World color schemes unless you're making a Jurassic World add-on, come on, just, yes, look at it, just, look, make new color schemes, look how awesome this looks instead of this, sh instead of the shitty, uh, Battle at Big Rock lame color scheme. Come on, you, see, like, you can do good, see? Alright, two pendeculus, so, again, uh, this is a usually a flat as fuck creature, but because this creature itself, like two pendeculus in general, is a flat as fuck creature to begin with, it doesn't really show, so yeah, it does fly again. But again, the wig, wings are really thin. And do these guys fly off? Actually, like it just feels like. Do they have flying animation? Because I have a very bad uh, feeling in my stomach that it doesn't. Oh uh, yeah, it sort of does. It like it when it's in the air, it just swaps to that position, but it doesn't like take off. Like it doesn't take off manually. Like. Yeah, it doesn't take off manually, like, it just stands there. Seriously, like, look at the code of Y-Dino, like, I'm pretty sure Y-Dino has the takeoff, uh, codes, just trying to reference that, and you sh this guy should do fine, so. Psittacosaurus, great. Uh, I think, a uh, Paleocraft is the only one that had Psittacosaurus, so now it's a, now it's a new one. But, alright, I'm gonna go ahead and give the props to Compicraft, his Psittacosaurus looks better. Mainly because, again, the Pistachiosaurus head is supposed to be very three-dimensional, but it really it doesn't really work out if he's doing uh, if he's still retaining to this sh shitty ways of uh, 2D making models on Blackbench. So, yeah, uh, really, like the texture is really nice, but this just the model just doesn't make up for it because it just it's just too thin. Just change your ways of model making, like. Model it like anyone else would. <laughs> like, making, ripping them off 2D pictures isn't the way to go, man. Alterinus, yeah, from Dinosaur King. Yeah, one of my, one of a really nice color scheme, nice. I really like it. If I was you, I would have used the Dinosaur King color scheme, because just for the sake, sake of it. But, yeah, I like this color scheme as well, very natural as well. So, yes, Alterinus, I love it. Because, uh, now we have, I think we have a, uh, we got, a, we got three thick nose creatures. We got Mutaborosaurus. We got, I think, uh, Critosaurus? I don't know. And we got now, uh, this guy, uh, Alterinus. Now, someone needs to make a Rhino Rex and uh, someone, something else as well. Wait. Did this. Did the Cynoceratops just kill a Pachyrhinosaurus? I, I mean, uh, the Pseudos. I don't know what the hell that happened for. But, anyways, guys. Yes, this was my review. Uh, my conclusion of this review is this guy just needs to work on his modeling skills. If if he's gonna make more add-ons that l have these dinosaurs look like this, like I wouldn't download it. Honestly, I wouldn't put it in my world. I I, I will put this add-on in the world, however, f just because of the various dinosaurs. But that's pretty much it. So yes. So if you enjoyed this episode, leave a like. If you haven't already, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, may the Jurassic Spirit with you. Bye bye.